Hey guys, my name is Nikki and I welcome you here to Carrie Grace. Today I'm going to be sharing with you how we switched our master bedroom from the one downstairs to the one upstairs. Before we jump into all the changes, here's the four of our master bedroom downstairs. This is the smaller bedroom. This is the blue and white bedding that I had for most of the year. And then upstairs, this is the larger master bedroom. This was my son's room. We just redid it. You can see this blue wall. There's a lot of personality and color in this room. Okay, so this is what my bedroom looked like the day that we started rearranging. I had gotten rid of the blue and white bedding, wanted something a little calmer. I had changed out the curtains for kind of like a yellowish golden color and white. You can see my closet is pretty stuffed. This closet is tiny. It's one of the main reasons I wanted to move back upstairs to the larger master bedroom. The lighting wasn't so great in here this day, but this is how everything looked. Our home has two master bedrooms. The one downstairs is the one that we've been in. It's the smaller bedroom with a nice large bathroom, but the bathroom is the only bathroom downstairs so it's the main bathroom of the house this is my son's room upstairs this is the large master bedroom that has a very teeny tiny bathroom but you can see that his room had a lot of personality it was something that we had just finished and kind of redone for him but i was ready for some more space my kids, when they were upstairs in this room, it was just really loud downstairs. And they're just being kids. They're not doing anything crazy, but that's just kind of how it went. So we decided to move. And you can see this is the tiny bathroom. Not much to it. All right, so the first day, the only thing that I did is I switched out clothes and shoes and all of the things that were in the closets. So you can see I have everything pulled out. This is for everything from my closet. The closet that we are moving into upstairs is so much larger than this closet downstairs. And when it, my son was using the big closet, it really just kind of collected a bunch of stuff. It wasn't super functional for him. It was really way too big for him. We were very much outgrowing this closet. You can see now that we've moved all of his things in here, it really does look nice and neat and it worked really really well for him. I will also tell you that I was not prepared for how much work this move was actually going to take. I really thought it was just going to be a matter of moving stuff around. You can see this is in the middle of moving. Y'all there's so much stuff. This is what my house looked like for a day and wow I don't even know what to say. One of the biggest things that I had to do once everything was moved around is create new ways of organizing things. You can see this big crate right here. This is all of my kids' DVDs. It's all their movies. This is a crate. It is slam full. And there was really no place to put it in this room. Right here, I'm just kind of showing you that I put his TV on a riser. This is something that I found at Amazon because I had to find a way to make this work. But I found these sleeves on Amazon for the movies and it made such a difference. You can see that I was able to get all of the movies in this one little basket. There's some extra just kind of empty cases in case we ever want to travel with them. But this takes up much less room. It's so compact now and the sleeves are really nice. And now this just fits on the shelf in our living room and it's not a big deal. So now my kids can use some of the storage in my son's room for other things. All right, the other project that I needed to do was something with my jewelry. Y'all, that's like a styrofoam egg crate that I have jewelry in on the top of kind of like my shoe caddy in here. I needed to come up with something better. My son got me this little gold jewelry organizer thing. We found this at Michael's. And I needed a place to hang necklaces and bracelets. And then I did finally get some real egg crates. These are ceramic. I used to have these before, but I had gotten rid of them. And this is how I like to store earrings and rings and things like that. This worked pretty well, but I knew that I still needed to do something else. So I took a piece of foam core board, 
wrapped it in some leopard fabric, put these tacks at the very top, and this gave me a place so that I could hang my really long necklaces. They were too long to hang on that other organizer. You can see I've got all my earrings in here, and this is just a really happy place every day when I open up my closet. I really like being able to see all of my jewelry. It's something that has been tucked away in a drawer for a very long time, and so I am very pleased with how this turned out. I don't think I've mentioned it yet this video, but this room used to be long to my husband and I. When we first moved into this home, we did have the upstairs master bedroom, so I knew kind of how to put everything in here to make it work. It's really nice to have all our shoes right there in the middle so that I can see them. They're not under the clothes. I've got lots of room in this closet. It is so nice. You can see I've got just places to stack things. I've got places to store extra pillows. And it's just really nice to be able to have some breathing room in the closet. All right, so in our bathroom, y'all, this thing is tiny. I started out trying to put kind of all of our things on those shelves, and it just felt very claustrophobic. So I ended up putting like towels and things like that to keep it from looking super cluttered. It worked out really nicely. I just didn't really think that they were going to fit, but I was able to fold them and make that work. This was one of the biggest jobs, getting all of my products underneath the sink in here because we have no drawers. So I've got kind of this big plastic drawer. I use this in our other bathroom, but this is where I keep all of my hair tools and things like that. We each have a basket with kind of our essentials in them. The biggest thing that I did have to change though is I had to find another way to store my makeup. I'm used to having my makeup in like a, an acrylic organizer, but I needed it in a bag so that I could pull it in and out and it not get dumped over because there just wasn't a good place for it. I found this train case on Amazon. Y'all, the quality is very nice. Obviously, it's not a real Louis Vuitton, but um, it has organizers that like you can what am I trying to say you can change the organizations you can move these around how you want them it had a place to store my brushes and everything and now I can just kind of get this in and out of the cabinet and nothing is going to spill out of it because I can zip it up so this has been a really good thing for in here all right so another thing that I realized in our bedroom is that the curtains I had are way too warm in here they just, they read yellow with the blue. Now let me just kind of address the blue wall. The blue wall is something that we just painted for my son like a month and a half ago, I think, maybe two months ago. And it's not my favorite for us, but I am not in the mood to take on a major painting project right now. So for now, the blue wall stays and I'm just going to work around it. All right, so back to the curtains. I needed something that was a little more neutral. The other curtains, they were neutral, but they read really warm. And so I needed something that just worked better in here. I found these on Amazon. Everything that I got from Amazon, I will have linked down below in my storefront. That way, if it's something that you're interested in, you can find it easily. Okay, so these curtains, I really, really like them. They're just kind of a classic trellis pattern. Right here, I'm showing you that the bracket that's on the wall, I like to make sure that when I put the rod up, that the bracket is in between the first and second grommet on the curtains. I just feel like it hangs the best for me that way. So that's how I like to do it. But I did get the 95 inch curtains because I wanted them to go all the way to the ceiling. We just have eight foot ceilings. And it just makes such a difference when your curtains are hung nice and high. One day, I'm hoping to be able to do this in my living room. I didn't do that when we first moved in, and I wish that I had. But anyway, these look so good in here. The color is so much better. These curtains are very sheer. They don't block a lot of light, but we do have blinds in here. We put new blinds when we were fixing this room up for my son. And um, so it's okay. But the curtains, the color just looks so much better and as you can see it works really well with everything else this pillow is a pillow that i've had forever i do like subtle patterns and colors in our room but i definitely like for them to be light and neutral which is why the blue wall is going to have to go all right so right here i'm showing you this gallery wall this is where my son's guitars were hanging it left huge holes in the wall so i created a gallery wall with frames i already had to cover up the holes because i didn't want to paint yet 
All right, so now that I've shown you most of the things that I kind of had to work around and fix, let me show you my son's room. All right, so this is walking into his room. He has some artwork right here. We had to do away with his entertainment center that we made because there just wasn't enough room in here. So his TV needed to go on his dresser. I still feel like he ended up with a big gray box for a room again. But like I said, I'm not ready to paint anything. We hung his flag back up. Everything is pretty much like it was in his other room. There's just not as much color. I do miss the blue. We will probably end up doing something, but because the orientation of everything is a little bit different, I'm not even sure where we would paint an accent wall in here. I'm not sure what we'll end up doing, but like I said, not ready to do it yet. Over here, he has his nice little desk area. The baskets are hanging on the wall. Those were in my laundry room. Now he can use these in here. We hung up his Mapiful map again. This was sent to me by Mapiful, something that we really, really like. You can see he's a musician. He has lots of electronics. He has lots of cores everywhere. Again, his TV, we did have to put it on a riser so that the cable box could fit there. That worked out really well. And he actually likes his TV being up high like this anyway, so that worked out right here. We did have to replace his blinds for him because we did not replace the blinds when this was our room. And so I didn't want him to have old nasty blinds again. So we replaced those. I may end up putting some curtains in here. I feel like that might be what this room needs. So we'll have to see. I may change his bedding. There's a good chance I'm probably going to paint those closet doors to something else. Not black, but something different. So this is how his room looks. All right, so moving back to our room, this is how it turned out. This is kind of the final look at everything. We have so much more space in here. It's something that we are just really enjoying. I did get new sheets. If you saw my video yesterday, you saw me making my bed with blue sheets. That blue clashed with this wall so bad. I knew that that would bug me really bad long term, but it was a super easy fix. We needed new sheets anyway, so it ended up not being a big deal at all. Over on this side of the wall, you can see our armoire. I put my kids' silhouettes up there. Those are hiding more holes. Y'all, I was serious when I said I am not in the mood to paint. It is not going to happen anytime soon. It will eventually, but the mood is going to have to strike. All right, so over here, we have my son's huge TV. It stayed in here because we just were not willing to move it. And honestly, I actually really like it in here. I kind of missed having a mirror right there. But I really enjoy the TV, so it really is not a big deal. And then over here, kind of moving around the room, you can see that I did hang my mirror right here. We had a place to put a laundry hamper right there. And then the little shelves in the corner, they are a great place to put plants. We do have a window in here, so during the day I open it and those plants get plenty of light. And so I really like that because it's just kind of something different. It's not something that I've ever had in our room before. And I just really like how it looks. Okay, so the next thing is the closet doors. They are black. I liked them this way when it was my son's room. I do not like it in here. It's too stark. It's way too much contrast. I prefer really light, calming colors. This black, this blue, they are not doing it for me. But again, it's going to stay this way until I am in the mood to take on the project of painting this huge room again. Even though there are still things to be done in these rooms before they're completely finished, I'm still so thankful to be moved back upstairs. I'm thankful that the rooms are nice and settled. They are functional. We are enjoying having a nice, quiet, peaceful room again. It was just really loud being downstairs and kind of being in the middle of all the traffic flow of everything. We are, of course, also really enjoying all of the extra space. It's just been a really good transition for us. All right, guys, thanks so much for watching. I hope you have enjoyed today's video. If you're new to my channel and not already subscribed, please consider subscribing. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up and I will see you guys soon.